Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, light worker, and Reiki healer. Today's message is angel messages, so whatever the angels want you to hear right now. For those of you in a hurry, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. Now, I want to take a moment and just have some gratitude for everyone who's helped support my channel, whether it's through comments or financially, um, through getting private readings, whatever it is, I really appreciate it. Now, for anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'm going to lead a short breathing exercise. You can begin by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your angels which pile has the message for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three slowly release now one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind if it does select that pile if not don't worry one more slow deep breath in hold for three seconds one two three slowly release now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right. So for reminders, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. You can go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description, and I will see you in your reading. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one. Your first angel message is courage. Courage comes from inside you and you have it in spades. You're being told to be courageous, be discerning, and honor life's cycles. So something is ending, something new is starting, something is changing, transitioning in your life and, uh, and you're being told to honor those life cycles. And, you know, be discerning means, you know, kind of check with your gut, check with your mind, make sure it, whatever decision you're making, you see it on a physical level, on a mental level, on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, and make sure it's right for you. And always be full with courage because the angels are at your back taking care of you. Now let's take a look at your tarot and kind of see what's going on. All right, so you've got the Eight of Swords, so some inability to take action, but you're gonna pass on from that testing, so just keep being courageous. All right, and be discerning where you put your energy because if you fight, you will win with the Seven of Wands, but, uh, but there is some struggling for what you want. And then you have the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. All right, so it looks like you guys are going through something right now you've got this eight of swords which is the inability to take action it's just kind of being stuck then you've got the six of swords which says that this is going to pass and you're going to pass on from testing but still you have you know struggling and fighting to get what you want and some overwhelmed feelings and even some boredom so let's see what the spirit guides have to add to the angel messages you're being told to be courageous be diligent be discerning be, you know, in honor of life cycles, accept what's ending, accept what's new, 
but but there's a lot here. So let's let's see what the spirit guides have to say. All right, you're being told wherever you feel like you can't move, you need to ask for guidance. So ask those spirit guides for help. And where boredom is, worry is a wasted emotion. So just stop worrying and bring your courage to the table is what the angels are telling you. Now, your commitment is being tested. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. So you're also being told with this overwhelming feeling to show the world the real you. So you can handle everything in front of you. There's a lot in front of you, but you can handle it all. And finally, for this, you know, struggling, but you're going to win where you put your energy, you get protection. You are protected. So when you're being told to be discerning, that doesn't mean you're in danger. It just means to check with your heart, check with your mind, check with your, you know, emotions when you make a decision, but you are completely protected. All right. So you guys, as you go through whatever this is, it seems like a lot of, um, it seems like you've been through a lot of testing. That testing is coming to an end, but there's still stuff out in front that is, um, you know, kind of fighting for what you want, feeling overwhelmed, feeling bored. So just take the good advice from your spirit guides. Ask for that guidance. Don't worry. Your commitment is being tested, which is, you know, why this is there's so much overwhelmingness in your reading. But, uh, but that's okay. If you show the world the real you, you're going to come out on top and know that you are protected through the whole thing. All right, that's all I have for pile number one. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading with me, you can email me at terrysinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number two. You have Archangel Jophiel at your reading. So she is the Archangel of Joy. And she is bringing you joy and hope. Oh, and you have Archangel Michael, which is the Archangel of Protection and Cutting Cords. And, you know, is the head of the Archangels. So you've got Angel Protection around you in spades. And there's lots of hope coming out. Now let's see what's going on in your tarot to have all of this... Uh, Angel. Okay, so there's been some fighting, but there could be reunions too. Justice, the Two of Swords, and the Emperor. Okay, so you have the Archangels in your reading because it's got... This Five of Wands is fighting, so somewhere in your life you've been fighting for something and putting your energy and there's been struggle and it's just been hard and Archangel Jophiel is there bringing you joy to kind of ease this you've got the page of wands which talks it's like the card of the writer the artist the musician you know it is um, reunions it is really just creative inspiration it's it's fantastic and and Archangel Jophiel is bringing that in for you then you have justice. Justice is about fairness and balance, and it's coming out on your hope. So there is justice for you. There is fairness where you've been fighting. That is coming to an end, and you're going to have justice and fairness. Now, Archangel Michael is coming out because you're also in a stalemate somewhere. Somewhere in your life, you feel like you can't move. You can't really see which direction to take. There's a stalemate somewhere in your life. And he's coming out to kind of ease that and help you through it so you can find the way through it. And he's going to lead you into this emperor energy, which is being in control of your own life. It is being the leader in your life. It is, you know, being in charge. And it can also signify you being in a management position in your work in some way. 
but uh, but Archangel Michael is bringing you out of this stalemate and into a place where you are really filled with inner strength and you are in charge. Now let's see what your spirit guides have to say. All right, so where this fighting is happening, calm is not a weakness. So bring some calm into the situation. And you're being told to lead by example. The Emperor card was all about leadership and you know, stepping into your own, being the boss in your own life, being the leader of your own life, and you're being told to lead by example. So this is going to come easy for you because you have Archangel Michael working in the background for you. Now you get, you are good enough for this page of wands. So if you are chasing your dream, you are more than good enough so just know that you can get there. Now for this two of swords, a fiery climax approaches. So Archangel Michael is working in this stalemate right now. And it's going to have kind of a fiery climax, but it's going to be gone. And finally, with justice and hope, you get the void. So that's the beginning. You're starting a new beginning. You have archangels in your reading that are providing you their joy, their comfort, their protection. And while you do have some things that you're going through with the fighting and the stalemate, you also have some really encouraging things with the Page of Wands and the Emperor and Justice in your reading as well. You are good enough for whatever you put your creative sights on, so go for it. Calm is not a weakness when it comes to an argument or a fight. Calm is how you extract yourself from it. Beginnings, beginnings with the void. A fiery climax with Archangel Michael helping you through this stalemate. And then lead by example as you step into your power. All right, that's all I have for pile number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading with me, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye bye Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three with Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. So she is making sure your messages come through. Oh, wow, you got Archangel Raphael too, who is the healer. And silence your thoughts. All right. So you have the messenger and the healer and silence your thoughts coming out for your angels. Archangel Gabriel is making sure you get the messages that you need to traverse the issues in your life. Archangel Raphael is healing you and healing you and healing you and providing his compassion for you as well as the whole world is like he's providing compassion and then silence your thoughts that's kind of an advice to meditate now let's take a look at what's going on in your tarot so we can okay all right so you start with the six of wands and then you have the page of coins the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Coins, the Five of Wands, the Three of Coins. There are so many cards in here. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yours is just huge. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, thank goodness Archangel Gabriel is here because there are so many cards here. This is such a, um, a huge reading. Now, the Fool is where you start. The Fool is you at the beginning of a journey. And this is victory, okay? So you've got, you've got victory, you've got opportunities financially and you are the fool at the beginning of this journey now there is something that's going to end and it's going to bring you heartbreak but you have both archangels helping you through it your hard work is going to lead to doors opening 
this could be a romantic proposal from a soulmate or finding your soulmate. And then you've got being recognized for your hard works and just the advice to not take a really hard position that could cost you something. You know, be open. So with all of these cards, which I have no idea how all these cards got into your reading, you are, um, there's normally five cards and it looks like there was just extra that just came out for you particularly. So there's, there's a whole lot here. Now let's look at what your spirit guy. Okay. So patience is a virtue. So as you're waiting for this victory to come in, as you're waiting for your new adventure to start, remember patience is a virtue and then death is an illusion. So for those of you that have lost someone, and that's why there's so much in your reading, just remember death is an illusion. It's, you know, the changing of energy. So your loved one still exists. They're still with you. They still guide you. It's going to be okay. Now, adjustments are required. Yeah, with this ending and the heartbreak, adjustments are going to be required. Um, conclusions are within reach for your soulmate and for your new doors opening. So your conclusions are right there. And then finally you get resilience. So you have the resilience to overcome this ending that's shocking, to overcome this heartbreak. You have this resilience inside you. So that is, that's a lot. I know that's, that's a whole lot. But, uh, but look forward to good times in the soulmate category, whether you're meeting your soulmate, getting closer to your soulmate, marrying your soulmate, whatever it is, there's definitely some soulmate progress here. There's financial progress. There is, you know, winning. There's you starting a new journey and this journey looks beautiful. So just remember, don't take those really hard positions that cost you something. Be open-minded. And yeah, your resilience is going to bring you through whatever gets thrown out in front of you. So call out on Archangel Gabriel, call out on Archangel Raphael for healing, for support, for clear messages that tell you which way to go. All right. That's all I have for pile number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, please email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. For everyone, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye bye Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four. Your first angel message is to check your emotions. So keep those emotions in check. Trust the flow and love. All right, so the angels are pouring out their love on you. They're asking you to trust the flow, to know that the universe is moving at its own speed to bring those blessings you've been waiting for in. And check your emotions. Keep your emotions in check. Make sure that you're living in love and happiness. You know, love and happiness and not fear and anger and hate. So make sure you keep your emotions on the level. Now let's see what's going on with your tarot. You got the Ace of Wands, so you're, you're at a new beginning. You're stepping into your own power with that Queen of Wands. Page of Cups is fun and socializing and making new friends. Ace of Cups is a new beginning that you have the emotional, wow. You have three aces. Look at that. That's amazing. You've got the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of wands. So if this was a poker hand, you just won. <laughs> um, definitely something is beginning. Something is starting. It is something that you have creative and passionate energy about. It's something that you have the emotional intelligence to bring to fruition. It's something that you have the capability of taking the action and really bringing it to fruition. You are stepping into your own power and you've got this fun and socializing involved in it. So this is a beautiful reading. This is everything that you could hope for 
your angels are saying, trust the flow. This is coming to you. Now, let's see what your spirit guides have to say. So you're being told for this beginning, make each day count. So yeah, an abundance is your right. Absolutely abundance is your right. This beginning is definitely gonna bring you some abundance too. Now, for you on the Queen of Wands stepping into your power, you're being told to hold your vision. So keep that vision steady. You know, keep your eye on the prize. For the Ace of Cups, which is still talking about the beginning, your dreams need a practical plan. So whatever this is, this new beginning, and you probably know what it is because it's a beginning that you're completely ready for, that you're stepping into your own power with, you probably already know what this beginning is. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. So make some plans. And finally, yeah, power. You have the power to manifest this beautiful beginning. You have the power to do whatever you want. So call out to your angels, ask for their help, trust the flow. You know, things don't move as fast as we want them to. We want them right now. And that's just not how the universe works. The universe works at its own time and its own speed. So trust that flow, but make each day count. And remember, abundance is your right. So good luck on this new beginning. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can reach me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number five. Your first angel message is compassion. The angels are wrapping you in their compassion. Then you are getting friendship and be free. So this is very positive. It is, you know, compassion from the angels, friendship where you, you're being advised to be your own best friend. So make sure that, uh, that you are friendly to yourself and be free. Don't live in constraints. Be your authentic self. Be who you truly are. You'll be happier. Now you start with the four of coins. Very nice. Stable financial foundations. Ooh, and some determination. More coins. Now the tower, so something's ending for the start of something. Ooh, and that is a dream come true. Wow, look at this. Okay, so you have something ending with this tower. Something is crumbling for the start of something new, but that something new is a dream come true where you have enough money to reward yourself financially. You have money for luxuries. This is your stable foundations. This is you kind of planting your seeds and sitting there and waiting for them to come to fruition so this is you really putting your work in and not even necessarily work this is you waiting to reap those rewards now whatever's ending you may already know about it you may not but know that when something ends it's to bring in this beautiful beautiful energy of the nine of cups which is a dream come true and the nine of coins which is rewarding yourself with luxuries. Now let's see what your spirit guides have to add. You're being told with your stable finan financial foundations to be of service. And you're being told with regards to rewarding yourself with these luxuries, you need to practice moderation. So you can reward yourself with luxuries, but don't overdo it. Now it's time to release negativity as you're waiting for your ship to come in. So get those negative thoughts out of there and don't let your past hold you back as you step into this dream come true. So if you have a lack mindset, if you, you know, this is mostly about money. So if you grew up poor or grew up financially uh, challenged, then don't let those mindsets of lack hold you back. You can step into abundance right here. And you, you get nourishment. So nourish your body, nourish your soul, nourish your heart. You know, as this ends, make sure you take good care of yourself. But know that it's going to be to step into this beautiful, beautiful dream come true. All right. That's all I have for pile number five today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. 
For those of you that are interested in a private reading with me, you can email me at terrysinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.